Hi guys, I'm Tony from The Final Cut. I'm planning on preparing a chuck wagon casserole. Ladies, this will make your man's heart melt. He will be so satisfied. This meal is wonderful. These are the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need some shredded pepper jack cheese, about six ounces, and about six ounces of sharp or mild cheddar cheese. And it's all shredded up too. <laughs> well, and you're gonna need a 15 ounce can of pinto beans. And we're gonna have about a cup of uh, jasmine rice and also we're gonna have about eight ounces of ground uh, sausage and uh, here's what we do you're gonna have to have a little casserole dish this is small small enough for two so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these pinto beans with the juicer and we're gonna pour it in here now once we've done that we're gonna take our ground sausage and we're gonna bring it here and put it in with those pinto beans we're gonna stir that around a little bit and once that's done, we're going to take and add our cheese. I like to mix it a little bit from this bowl, a little bit from that bowl. And we're just going to smother the top of this with this cheese. It's a very easy recipe. I think that uh, we've got enough cheese in here. This dish is a little small, so we're leaving some of that out. Now all you do is you take this little casserole dish and you have your oven preheated to 400 degrees. You slide her on in that oven and you wait till it starts bubbling on top. When it starts bubbling on top, it browns over just a little, you know it's done. Okay, so one very important thing, you gotta make sure you got your canine vacuum cleaner underneath your feet uh, to pick up any crumbs that you drop. Makes cleanup a lot easier. Well, now we're gonna start. I'm gonna put uh, a cup of rice in my rice cooker. I'm using jasmine rice because it's aromatic and has a great flavor. You can use white rice, you can use brown rice. Uh, and you don't have to use a rice cooker. Just follow the instructions on your uh, packet of rice, whatever it is you're using, and uh, just make a pot of rice. Now all we gotta do is wait for the aroma from the rice and the aroma from those beans. Oh, this place is gonna be smelling good. Okay, so we talked about the dish being real small going in here. Usually you would use like a Dutch oven, uh, especially if you're outdoors. It's easy to make this stuff outdoors uh, over a campfire. You, all you do is you just mix that stuff in there, put the lid on it, let the fire go when this starts going, and you got you some rice made. You're gonna dip that stuff up out of that pot and put it right over the top of that rice oh the goodness all right guys it's time to check on this casserole let's see what we've got here oh yeah brown just enough on the top and that cheese bubbling All right, 
there you have it and about 30 minutes time we had this casserole prepared put in the oven and brought out and ready to go all we got to do now is take and put our rice on a plate and dip this out of the dish and put it on top of the rice add a little salt and pepper if you like oh it's good here we go put that right on top of that rice Now it's time for that taste test. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is so good, guys. You're gonna love it. Okay, guys, this is your reminder. Like, subscribe, comment and hit that notification bell for further videos from us.